We are here and we are strong Let's be counted as we move on Make a difference, change lives As we tell our different stories We are capable, beautiful We are born to do great things We're unstoppable, incredible Cause we're differently abled Differently Hello ladies and gentlemen and a warm welcome to Able Differently where we take charge. I'm CG Moses and I'm Jane Theory. On today's episode we feature some of the events that took place over the week. Kariboni. Cause we're differently abled, differently. A huge percentage of disabilities are caused by fire and other fire related accidents. Safety Awareness Day was held recently at the Kenyatta National Hospital. Our team was there and compiled the following report for you. Take a look. On 6th September 2019 was the Fire Safety and Burn Awareness Day held at the Kenyatta National Hospital with this year's motto being Zuia Moto, Zuia Garama. I deal with, uh, for the last 18 years, I've treated burn patients and uh, so I've treated many of them. After treating many of them, you get to the point where you feel you don't need to treat them anymore. You also need to get out there into the community and prevent the, the fire incidences and uh, help the community to understand that burns are actually preventable. The reason why we say this is that over 90% of fire tragedies and uh, burns incidents and, and burns incidences are actually preventable because they are man-made. They are accidents. So accidents are preventable. It's only 10% where we can call them acts of God, like when we have bushfires and forest fires but over 90% of, of fire tragedies and incidents are actually preventable. The work commenced early in the morning from the Central Business District to the Kenyatta National Hospital. The event's goals and objectives was to create awareness to the public on fire safety measures. Once a week to prepare for this event so that we can go out there to the public, to the media, to the communities. So on Monday, our week compromised of launching this, um, what we call the Kenya Fire Safety Manual, which most of the stakeholders that I've mentioned are party to. Um, this was actually sponsored by the Kenya Red Cross, who is also one of our major stakeholders. They have been a big help, especially when we go out to reach out to the communities. So on Monday here at Kenyatta National Hospital, we launched this band manual. On Tuesday and Wednesday, we went out to the community. On Tuesday, we are at Kibla, at uh, Sarangombe, and we were able to meet with the chief in that area and speak to the community there and teach them, the various stakeholders, through drama, through speeches, and all the experts that were there, uh, including the, 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 the county fire brigade, who were able to show them the fire engines and also to make an appeal to the public that, uh, about what they do and why uh, the community should appreciate them and not throw stones at the fire engines. When the, so this interaction with the community is very key for what we are doing because it is the communities that have problems and they are the ones that we need to reach out to so that they know how to prevent the fires, what to do, how to use the stoves properly and even how to maybe change from stoves to better cooking apparatus that may be not be as harmful as the kerosene stove, how maybe to switch from candles and coroboys to solar uh, uh, lightning agents that may be uh, safer in the long run in the prevention of burns and fires. 
we had a chance to interview a band survivor who narrated of her painful ordeal. The life was very difficult, but what I can say, it needs positivity. Because when you are not positive, I don't know whether you will overcome all these circumstances. They are so difficult. Yeah. I had to accept and to move on the way I am. Right now I am disabled at the heart, but I thank God, at least, now for me there is somebody surviving. Fire outbreaks can always be avoided if the right measures are taken. Our theme for this year was Kinga Jami Kutokana na Madhara, about a most of us to turn around so that you can see it on the back of my t-shirt. Um, but that has been our theme this year, so we've been focusing a lot about how do you arrange your house. It, it may be small because for us who are in the informal sectors, we may have a one-roomed area. And one of the advices we've been giving is you can even arrange your one-roomed house into a safe environment, especially by keeping the cooking area completely separate, maybe even barricaded, uh, uh, not cooking on ground level, putting your stove or your gas cooker on a raised platform, like on a, on a table, so that it's away from children who are running in and out of the house because we receive a lot of children. We receive over 40% uh, of our band's victims are actually children that are admitted in this hospital. The other thing is that for us in hospitals, over 90% of the bands we see are actually do happen at home, inside houses and households. So that's why our focus this year has been primarily on, on, on the home, and therefore our theme this year has been Kinga Jami Tokana na Madara Yamoto. And our motto is Zuya Moto, Zuya Garama. Cause we're differently abled, differently. Let's take a short break and we'll be right back with more, so don't go too far. Cause we're differently abled, differently. Welcome back. Despite her condition, Helen Akonya is a mother who is determined to give the best to her four children. Take a look. As many in the disability circle continue to wallow in misery, Helen Akoye, mother of four, is ready to fight against all odds with an intention of standing out from the rest, excluding herself from the term disabled. She got her condition as a result of a headache she suffered from. Association for the Physical Disabled of Kenya. Na walikuwa wanakuja kuniangalia kitu kama hizo nika kutoka hospitalini kukuwa na crutches kukuwa na kitu naweza ku nilikuwa na siku mwana wheelchair ikabidi sasa walete crutches nianze kujifunza ku, ku, kutembea nazo wakanikunza kutembea nazo kwanza walileta zile ile trip na hiyo trip sasa ikanishinda walking frame pia nikatembea nayo walikuwa wananikunza so wakanidistage nikakuja nyumbani Helen feels that more still needs to be done for persons with disabilities, saying that there is an existing gap that needs to be filled. 
On a day-to-day -day life, she goes through so many challenges. Uh, in spite of the challenges she faces, she still has the morale to wake up every day. As a parting shot, this is what she had to say. Neza sema government kila ineza kufanya. Kuna skills ambapo ineza offer kushona kufanya nini. Unaona hizo vitu, hizo vitu ambapo nimejua ya kwamba ni kwa hapa wateja wangu wanaweza kuja niweza kuwashonea nini naweza kuwafanyia nini kitu kama hiyo. Na ninaweza kutoa hapo niki ni school fees ya watoto, naweza toa hapo watoto wa kiku, watoto wa kikula kitu kama hiyo. Yeah. Cause we're differently abled, differently. The Kajedo Children's Center, in conjunction with other stakeholders, held an event on 10th September to create awareness about menstrual health hygiene and the rights of the girl child. The theme of the day was advancing the right of women and girls with disabilities. Today we are at uh, AIC, uh, Kajedo Child Care Center to have a conversation with young girls with disabilities around menstrual health and hygiene. And this is under our Huwezo project, which is a two-year project that focuses on increasing access to sexual and reproductive health for women and girls with disabilities in Kenya. According to the director of the center, it was started way back in 1979 by missionaries as a feeding center for the needy and persons with disabilities. Tunawapatia hiyo mzuri ya ya school sasa wanaenda pamoja na kusoma na kurudia kwa kama nyumbani the same thing to the boys kisha baada ya primary wanajiunga na any high school because then by then watakuwa fully rehabilitated wanaweza kujifulia nguo wanaweza kujitunza hata wakajipelea wengi hapa wanarudi wenyewe kutoka nyumbani wakati wanaenda kisha wanarudi tu wenyewe because ya Treatment, rehabilitation and education are the three core values offered at the center and as a result has bred some successful beneficiaries. I reported to this institution at the age of five years. That is when I was confronted by polyomyelitis. And ever since I stayed here uh, through treatment, rehabilitation and education. I completed this institution in 1994 after, for, after class 8. I joined high school through their support. They supported me for my high school education and college education. I came back here and worked as an administrative secretary for a period of six years. Due to the cultural practices in Kajedo County, matters disability, especially those related to women, are not fully embraced. But thanks to the center, the girl child has been given room for integration and representation. Abilities, bearing in mind that Kajedo is a semi-arid area, the area is mainly inhabited by the Maasai people of Kenya, and disability is not purely welcomed. Children with disabilities are hidden and some are thrown to be eaten by wild animals. So when they come here, 
this is the best place to build yourself, to build your career and to build your future life. Very little effort has been put in place in regards to menstrual hygiene for the able differently. Therefore, there is need for inclusivity on many fronts in order to make a difference in the society. I don't think there's a lot of inclusivity with regards to mens especially menstrual hygiene issues. There's a lot of exclusivity on, on many fronts when it comes to people who are able differently. Uh, but there's progress. I can say that every day, people like disability with what Liz is doing, there's now, you know, consensus and there's uh, communication around it. And so we're finding people are ready to listen and asking themselves how can they make a difference. Yeah. At the end of it all, the children not only parted with knowledge about the relevant matters, but also had something to smile about as each received goodies from the organizers. Cause we're differently abled, differently. On today's episode, we're going to do things differently where we are going to share tips on how to deal with different types of disability. And today, we focus on persons on a wheelchair. So tip number one, do not push someone's wheelchair without their request. You know, they might not need your assistance mm -hmm. given that they have mechanisms of being self-reliant. So please do not be offended if they are okay. And uh, also let them, give them time or rather give them that chance to ask you for that assistance. I couldn't agree more. Tip number two, never sit on an armrest of someone's wheelchair no matter how friendly they might be. I couldn't agree more on that, Moses. Let me tell you from my own personal experience, because at some point I used to use a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. You know, the way someone would come and sit on your armrest, it feels like intrusion of your personal space. And at the end of the day, these armrests are like your, you know, your daily uh, couch, where you feel you're comfortable, you rest your body well. But when someone sits on this armrest, they end up getting teared off, you know? Oh. So. Basically put, even if you're my friend, no matter how friendly we are to each other, kindly do not sit on a person's armrest. It's a it no is really zone, an right? intrusion of <laughs> someone's face. Because mm -hmm. we're differently abled, differently. Let's take a look at the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disability. Article 6 of the UN Convention states that State parties recognize that women and girls with disabilities are subject to multiple discrimination and in this regard shall take measures to ensure the full and equal enjoyment by them of all human rights and fundamental freedoms. Well folks, that has been it for today's show, but before we wrap it up, Jane has something to tell us. Well guys, it's been an amazing six years experience of working with Able Differently Show. We started off in 2013 and we have, we've had an amazing team. We've worked effortlessly to make sure we deliver stories of persons with disability who've made it in life. So I'll be going abroad to pursue my master's. Uh, I look forward to coming back when Able Differently is much greater and have than ever before. Wow. Then Congratulations you, on that opportunity. Thank Some you. of us are at Jay Tokainje. Ooh, man. <laughs> and I truly look forward to working with you once you come back. Thank so, you. hey, all the best out there, eh? Yeah. Well, for us, it is it. I've been your host, CG Moses. And me, Jane Theory. Kwahirini. I have no words to say how happy we are, we all are, that uh, something good is happening, is coming your way. We pray for you, we wish you the very best as you move forward, as you take this opportunity, like I mentioned earlier, it will be something that uh, you'll remember all your life, and uh, that's how life should be. Ups and downs, days and up, and we all celebrate it with you. And of course those are words that have come in those programs because of you, because you are the person who carries the program, the presenter carries the program. So we know wherever you are going, we wish you all the best, study hard, and we'll be waiting for you here. 
congratulations and God bless. It's been awesome having you on there and um, go gather you know, knowledge, uh, come back with papers, we're waiting. Thank you so much for this warm gesture. I feel humbled and it's been an amazing six years working with KBC and the Able Differently and thank you so much Jackie, our producer. We met in campus and you gave me the opportunity to work with you and I'm sure we've touched so many lives. We've changed perceptions about persons with disability and because of KBC, at least Kenya is being felt, you know, in terms of, you know, the diversity of us all and, you know, we all have our parts to play in this you know, in this country and in the world at large. So Santini Sana KBC team, I look forward to coming back. You know, while we are bigger and better, of course to what may grow in lips and you know, lips and bounds that you are. Mm. So I wish you well. Then keep a man at that other end. We are still together and I'll be back because you know it. It's not the end of everything.